Can you hear me, David? I can hear you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Can, yes. you, can you see me? I can see you, yes. I can see you. All right, hang on a second. Let me switch over to the main camera here. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're going, going. I think people can hear you, right? People can, everybody in the chat can hear David? Yeah. Okay, there you go. I think they can hear you. I'm not too sure about this. <laughs> Let's see what they say. Yeah, they say they can hear you. Uh, they say you're low. Let me try something else really quick. Let me try doing it a different way. Try it now. Talk. I'm talking. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's actually better. That's better. Okay. Sweet. All right, cool. So we've got... Obvious. Hey, welcome to the Tuesday show. Obviously, uh, we've got David on Skype here today. You, well, you know, some people can't tell if it's David or Sajam, but it is David. But here we go. I'm Great. Gonna, I'm going to do this right here. There we I'm go. I'm going to zoom in my camera because I guess I can do you that. You can zoom in the camera. I mean, I mean, can you see the stream right now on your on your screen over there? Uh, yeah, I'm looking at it, but okay, I don't see okay. me on it. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you, it depends, right? Like, there's there's different ways to do. I mean, I have this. I could also put the official screen capture on there, but uh. Whoa. <laughs> uh yeah, I mean you can. That's actually hilarious, but uh sure. Or I can either also, way, I guess. Either that, or I can do this, and like whenever you talk, like start talking. Start talking, David. Oh, okay, I'm talking. Words, words and stuff. Hey, 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 and like, stuff. Like, say a sentence. Okay, I'm saying a sentence, and words are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> All right, let me, let, me, let me try to add the real thing here. Let me add the real thing. Hey, there we go. Okay, okay. We actually have the real thing here. here we yeah, go. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, let's do this here. <laughs> James, I'm just seeing now what you did. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, That's hilarious. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Oops, wrong thing here. There you go. Now it's almost as if we are, you are in the room with me. There you go. Okay, see? Look at this. See? Oh, yeah, that actually looks okay. Yeah, you can barely even tell that you're not here, right? So there you go. Okay. That looks basically how I look. Yeah, there you More go. More or less. Okay. <clears throat> Brighten this up a little bit, but yeah, all right, anyway, so, <laughs> you want to just be like, hey, welcome to the Tuesday show? Yeah, let's do that. Hey, hey welcome, welcome, yeah. welcome to the Tuesday show, <laughs> this is Ultra Chen TV, and I'm Ultra David. And I'm James Chen, how's everybody going, how's it going, David? <laughs> ah, it's going great, you know, it's, it was, took me a long time to drive over to your place today, but I'm glad that I finally was able to, mm -hmm. uh, I had work that took my attention until, like, whoa, I'm listening to myself. <laughs> Why? Oh, because it's on the thing. Anyway, so what are we going to talk about today? Let's talk about uh, some things that happened recently. We're going to talk about, see if this works. Uh, talk. Well, hang on a second. Do that again. Do that again. Do it again. Do it again. Okay. Do it again. There you go. We're going to talk about go. Texas Showdown. We're going to talk about Ely again more. And uh -huh. we'll talk about Ed. Uh -huh. And... The other characters that were talked about on the NRS stream, including Darkseid and some others, and we'll talk about <laughs> Tekken banning and so forth. Okay, there you go. That kind of. Hey, that, hey look at that! All right. I, I just I missed the I missed the other arm, so that's my bad right there. So. Not exactly a uh, high quality <laughs> video over there. But what, what, what are you gonna do? Oh man. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, let's see here. Yeah. So let's talk about Texas Showdown first. Uh, obviously, we were just there this weekend. It was a ranking event here in the United States. Uh, didn't get quite the international presence, although uh, Jawa, Jawa showed up for that. Uh, but outside of that, it was a pretty cool event. I mean, wh what's your what was your opinion of the event overall? That was great. Yeah, it was. It's definitely the the farthest that Texas Showdown has come in, in regaining what it used to be, which is. As we said, oftentimes, you know, it used to be one of the one of the big premieres in, in the states before there was right. premieres as a classification. It was just one of the major majors, right? Uh, and then for many years it fell off. But we've been coming back for I would say this is the 
fourth out of five years, if I recall correctly, maybe five out of six. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And each year it's, it's noticeably bigger and better. Um, and, uh, and this was the fanciest. I mean, it was in a fancy hotel. It was in this fancy part of Houston. Uh, lots of players were there. A bunch of different games represented well. Uh, I don't know, man. What did you think? Uh, I thought it was fantastic, actually. From what I could tell, a lot of, like it was one of those events that everybody that went to seemed to really enjoy it. Like I talked to a lot of different people there, and they all seemed to have a really good time at the event, and that's always a really good sign, right? Like, you yep. know how most events there's always like some random drama or something crazy going on or something like that, but I felt like uh, this one. It, went, it was run really smoothly. Sure, I mean, things went a little late on Sunday, whatever, but that happens all the time. But overall, I yeah. thought everybody had a really good time at the event. So, and, and even when it went late, it was like not because the organizers screwed up. It was like a couple of the games just went long. You know? Right, right, exactly. And, and that happens, as you know. Uh, that, that, does, that does occur. Definitely, definitely. Uh, so, yeah, it was, it was all good, and I was really happy for people running it and for the people there that that they have a uh they have a, a big event like that now hopefully it'll continue to grow I'm, I, I'm sure it will considering it's been doing that right exactly so i mean and and uh the city it was in was really nice i know that they're trying to like really really pushing hard to push it back to the original status that it used to be um, yeah. but like the, the area was super nice like it was just in this great part of houston there's lots to do Lots yeah. of places to walk around if you weren't playing. You know, it wasn't like in the middle of nowhere. So, you yeah. know, I don't, yeah, I just thought it was really, really well done. Yeah, it, it's true. Some people are mentioning it that uh, MKX had, during its top eight, uh, they started the matches on an unpatched console. But that was, <laughs> okay, okay. that was caught pretty quickly. And they just redid the matches. Only a couple matches had had taken place and the players are okay with it and it was yeah. like really no big deal okay cool so, cool uh, so but yeah that was the only snafu that I, I even heard of the whole weekend and that's pretty minor as, uh, as events go yeah but they had smash they had side super turbo tournaments etc etc uh but yeah. do you want to let me let me pull up the results here that's what i'm trying to do right now that's why i'm leaning off to the side so uh, trying to get the results here here we go Text no actually the results did not change the results did not change. They were the same for MKX. People, same people won. Oh, right. As, okay, okay. You know, so it was really like no big deal. It turned out, it was, which was good. Yeah. Also, I mean, shout outs to the Level Up team for you know, you know, good job running the event too. Good stream production too. They do one thing on the stream that I love, by the way, and it's actually very similar to what's going on over here. But you notice that when they actually put the players on the screen, they put them on the correct side. Like, that matches yeah. when you actually see them, like, in-game, right? It's weird because the person on the right is actually on the left, you know? But they angle the cameras in such a way that, like this, so it doesn't look like that. You know what I mean? And then the, the, the boxes that they do, they have, like, these diagonal cuts. And so it just works really well. I, I really love how they do that. And you've seen them experiment with that a lot in uh, Wednesday Night Fight. So I just thought that that was really cool, so... Yeah, they got tweets up there. People were talking. Yeah, it was it, it was a very nicely run production. And, and you know, Panda X Gaming was there as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, the other stream. They were they were the secondary stream. Um, but uh, everything went ran great on that one as well. Yeah, even Javi afterwards at the end, you know, I was talking to him, telling him, <laughs> "Bless you." Ah, you sneezed all over me, dude. Ah. God. Sorry, man. It's but, uh, just... <laughs> but even Javi said afterwards that. Uh, he probably couldn't have run the event without Panda X Gaming's help because, you know, Jonathan, of course, you know, does all the work for all the events in that area. And he's pretty much a tournament running veteran now, so. He's a good guy. Anyway, let's talk about the results a little bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have them up or do you want me to go over them? I do, but you can talk about them if you'd like. Okay. Uh, so for Street Fighter, as we mentioned, it was a r ranking event. So a lot of people showed up uh, for this uh, from around the country. And um, do you want me to do top 16 or should I just do the top eight? Uh, yeah, I mean, well, do, do top eight, but you know, I guess we should note that... Uh, no, you might as well do top 16, man. Go for it. Okay, so, all right. So tied in 13th place was Magneto 1080p, strong Texas player from that, from that area. Uh, also GOL Nova Spec 
who did really well yeah. with Fong, and he's from Louisiana, Gods of Louisiana, that's what GOL stands for. Aziz Sensei, a strong Nikali player from the area as well, and K-Brad, Eiji's K-Brad got 13th place. Uh, ninth place was Flash, and uh, mm-hmm. Chris Tatarian, Justin Wong, and mm-hmm. uh, as we mentioned, the only uh, traveling person, uh, Dark Joa from uh, internationally. Uh, seventh place was Ludovic from Maryland, right? Or Virginia? Yep, from Maryland. Maryland, okay. And uh, Cali Power, <laughs> Mr. Alex Bai himself, uh, you know, being the guy running the stream and he gets to travel there for free and, like, enter and place and everything. So, uh, fifth place was Noble Vagabond, strong uh, Nakali player, originally from Texas, now living in Colorado. And Rise Marn. Thinking man's Marn, as you described him uh, this weekend. Uh, yeah. Fourth place was F3 Alucard. Second, uh, third place was EG's NY Chris G. Second place, CYG BST Snake Eyes. Getting all the way to second place. And first place was Defend the North Pies Smug. Finally taking a ranking event. Finally in an offline tournament getting Balrog to top eight. And, yeah. Uh, not only that, but winning the tournament itself. Yeah, yeah. Um, very impressive by Smug, man. His his Balrog is. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if it's the best. It's probably between him and and PR Balrog, I guess. Right. But uh, it's just, they play quite differently, and and his is so patient. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. to have a character that's that explosive and that oppressive, but that you play as a control patience character and then you blow the opponent up whenever you Whoa, get a chance or whenever you need to. That's a such a such a solid For all she's given you add on my this page day. is playing stop stop give shut her up. a teleflora boot okay okay I, I, that's amazing st- 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 okay sorry continue continue forward there was an ad playing on my web page so oh yeah I saw it that's right <sighs> okay uh yeah, so that was that was cool. And Smug is super strong. He was strong with Dudley, a character that nobody else was strong with. Like nobody was even in. In fact, he was the top five Dudleys, right? right. Top ten Dudleys or something like that on Xbox Live mm-hmm. back in Street Fighter Four. Yeah, he uh, had like nine accounts. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, and and it, it's like basically the same for for Boxer now, with the exception of PR Balrog and maybe just a couple of other people. Right. So, uh, man, he is he is so so good. And Snake Eyes really cool. Last tournaments he's gotten top eight dream hack and then this one and second place after having not gotten second place last time uh is awesome because he didn't have a lot of success for a while mm-hmm. early yeah. season one and yeah. then basically nothing uh i mean he didn't do nothing he was i think he was top 16 at evo or something like, like he did he continued to do well it's just he didn't like make the big splash right and everyone and everyone was calling him like, washed up and everything like that yeah. so yeah, so I thought that was really, really nice. Um, Chris G might have gotten farther, but he just he clearly was mentally out of it when it came to the losers finals. Yeah. Uh, after uh, having lost winners finals uh, very closely and, and uh, just didn't go how he wanted to, you really see that when he played against Snake Eyes after that. Right, right. I talked to him actually after the tournament, and I was just, just like, "Your mind wasn't there at all, was it?" And he was like, "No." He even said that one time he tried to flash kick, like wake up EX flash kick or something, and he hit punches instead of kick. He just said like his brain was just still thinking about that Balrog match because if you remember how it ended, he was like doing really well. It went down to the last game, to the like last round, I believe it was, almost last round. And then Mm -hmm. Smug got in one jump in. He had V-Trigger, activated, punch, 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 punch into super, and Chris G lost like 65% of his life. In that comment. And not and not only was it a jump, and wasn't it a jump fierce through Giles crouching fierce? Like he tried the anti air. Might have been something like that. I think yeah. it was. It certainly did happen at some point. But okay. uh, yeah, that was tough for him. He won Marvel though, so not a terrible day. Uh, <laughs> it was nice for Alucard. He you know got fifth in his pool at Dreamhack, and he got fourth yeah. in the tournament this time. So that's yeah. quite a step up. Yeah. Very nice to see. Uh, Vagabond, you know, from Texas originally, not living there now, but uh, still really, really good. That was cool. I'm sure we'll see more of him. 
And then this Marn character. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened to Marn, but but Martin Fan showed up all, all of a sudden. Right, not, right. I haven't seen him for a long time. Exactly. And uh, the, yeah, he was he was this cautious guy, uh, relatively anyway. I talked with him about it actually, and and he said that um, he's been playing against Justin so much, we beat in this tournament. To, to right. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but he's been playing against him so much that Justin is like the kind of player that will. Like whittle off your risky bad habits because he is so patient. Right. And in a long okay, set, okay, like he, okay. just, like if you do crazy stuff, he is just gonna punish you for that consistently. Right. Two out of three, two out of five is a kind of a different story. It's very rare that people beat Justin in a long set. Um, so he's been playing against Justin so long, so much he said that he's basically become conservative uh, huh, relatively. So okay. I don't know. That's what he said. <laughs> Well, more power to him. He did really well here, uh, fifth place uh, with the Buki, and maybe he's thinking about going back to Armika a little bit more, right? So, yeah. Um, uh, and then Lud, you know, with Chun Li, yeah, uh, and and he tried the calling in as well. I hope that the Colleen comes in more. You know, he's not high on Chun Li. I don't think anybody is. But it'd be great if he had a secondary, and even if say like Chun Li gets buffed at some point, only might get buffed at some point too. Mm -hmm. Or nerfed. I mean, who knows? But it's it's good to have two characters that are both potentially viable, just yeah, in case. Like one yeah. gets nerfed, one gets buffed. You never know. And I was glad that he actually tried her because you got to start using your secondaries in tough situations like this to really yeah. learn them. So. Um... Yeah, and then Alex Vaya. Yeah, man, he he played a bunch of Colleen in in uh, the <laughs> first day of the tournament. And then went to Rashid whenever he lost, and which was most of the time. Right. And his Rashid did basically the trick. Dude, he said he was so mad too because he was like, "Man, I was playing off stream, and every time I used Colleen, I was like botting everybody. Everything was working. Right. Then when they played on stream, they would go crazy, and I had to switch to Rashid. He was mad. He really wanted to show off as Colleen on stream, but I guess he couldn't yeah. do it. So didn't work. But yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was that was all really good. Oh, and then, man. uh. Did you watch any of the Red Bull Proving Grounds qualifier stuff? No, I did not get a chance, although I heard it was mirror match hell. Um, I heard uh -oh. El Cubano Loco, who was there, lost the two Vegas, and uh, Vagabond lost the two Nicalis. <laughs> oh, bummer. But yeah. Smug won that one, too. Oh, did he? Oh, okay, did. okay. So he won two tournaments in one day. You know what's cool, though, is that Happy Medicine got second place. Oh, really? And Okay. Yeah, um, I hadn't seen Happy Medicine since Street Fighter Four, huh. and not even like at the end of Street Fighter Four, but like a while before. Right. So it, he he was always so talented, and he didn't travel that often. But when he did, he did well. And mm -hmm. there you go, second place. So I thought that was awesome. Happy Medicine was like, didn't he beat Flo one year in like Marvel or Street Fighter or something like that? I can't. I don't know if he was into Marvel like that, but. Uh, yeah, he might have beaten Flo. He beat a lot of good people okay, with okay. Bison. He, he had one of the best Bisons in the U.S. in Street Fighter 4. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I mean, obviously the biggest thing about this is Smug finally taking a ranking event. And in fact, someone pointed out at the very end of the stream, they put up a little graphic. This is basically the first CPT event he's won, period. Like, they said, yeah. like, since 2014, I guess? But, you know, wasn't that like a... Was that like the 2050? I don't know. Like, it just doesn't even feel like that was a CPT year. That feels like it was so long ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, man. Yeah, nice work. Yeah, good job to Smug. So uh, For sure. let's uh, go through some of these other results over here. Uh, well, in the Red Bull Proving Ground uh, qualifier, uh, seventh places were Azid and Verse. Fifth places were Guilty and Dr. African. Fourth place was Novaspec, the same Fong that almost made top eight. And yeah. third place was Pit84 with Nikali. But yeah, as you mentioned, second place, um, Happy Medicine. And first place, Smug. So there you go. Uh, yeah, Kim and, and just, just a little bit of a note about the Red Bull Proving Grounds. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's a sort of local thing. Right. It's, yeah, a, yeah, it's yeah. an ongoing series. Anybody can enter any of the individual events. Mm -hmm. But since it's an ongoing series and the winners of the overall season are the ones who end up, you know, winning the season, <laughs> it's a long-term thing. If you're there for just one week, then you're not going to win the overall season. So that's that's why Red Bull doesn't prevent people who well, aren't from right. the region mm -hmm. from entering. But, I mean, to be honest with you, though, I mean, 
if the other guys split it enough, maybe, you know, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's only one out of the out of Yeah, series, it's true. So yeah. Most likely uh, it's not going to happen. So Yeah, it's not something to worry about. Yeah. Oh, some people are actually mentioning that uh, Punk is going to NLBC this week, so that should be fun. Okay. Uh, yeah. But uh, for more results here in uh, at Texas Showdown, Killer Instinct was the KI World Cup qualifier. Um, seventh place was Julio and Faya Liga, uh, both with Ripter, actually. Uh, fifth place was Zip Master Flex with Omen and Icewater714 with Kim Wu. Oh, dang, I missed that. I would have liked to have seen that, actually. Uh, fourth place was UA Base with Spinal. Third place, uh, Raven is Raw with Spinal as well. Second place, Water Horses with Glacius. The only person I feel like who's been using the same character the whole time except for Fialiga. And then first place is uh, Circa Nikki with Mira. So, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't mention it here, but Bass played a bunch of Cinder as well. Yeah. Uh, that Ra was... Raven is Raw was only Spinal as far as I know. Okay, I think he okay. still just plays Spinal. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that game has a lot of people who play multi-characters. But at the same time, there are a bunch of people who play only the one, like Raven is Raw, right. Water Horses, uh... I don't know. I guess there's a there's a lot of dudes I can think of who who still do that. But right, right. Um, yeah, Nikki went Mira, and uh, she's very strong for sure. And he played he played really well. Uh, and I remember when people were talking about him beginning to win with Fulgore, mm -hmm. how you know it was Fulgore. Fulgore was crazy. <laughs> he was very good. He was very good, no doubt. Dude, but this is what everybody it was always. Nikki, you know. He was the only full board doing that stuff, and now he's the only Mira doing this stuff. Right. So. Everyone hey. always tries to do that, right? Like, it's always the character. Like, I've even heard some people saying that Smug won because Balrog is so good, you know, kind of deal. Okay. But, like, you see them play. Like, it definitely like, plays into it, but it's a. Anybody could be doing that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, so it takes the person to play a good character. You're, it's not often the case that a person plays a bad character and wins a tournament, sure. But many people play viable characters in tournaments and not many people win tournaments and Nikki wins a bunch of them <laughs> with full gore and now with, with Mira so yeah, yeah. that's how it is yeah I mean even like when Sonic Fox was using Batgirl right like everyone thought oh it just has a broken character but then eventually yeah. he just won everything with any character so there you go yeah <laughs> pretty much uh, Guilty Gear Exert Revelator which I actually got to commentate which was super awesome I'm super happy Sick. about that that was a lot of fun um, seventh place was uh, Frosty Fausting's Elven Shadow with Faust, of course. Uh, seventh place was also Nakiel with uh, Soul Bad Guy. Uh, fifth place, Decline with Sin, as well as um, Hamad, a uh, former Fei Long player in Street Fighter yeah. 4 with Kai. Uh, fourth place was Silent Assassin with Bedman. Third place, Beautiful Dude with Zato. Uh, second place, Fables Kid Viper with Johnny. And now, today... I can say first place was Fables Kizzy K uh, with Sin oh. Kisk. Yeah. So he was actually just signed today by the same hey. group that signed Kid Viper. So there you go. <laughs> All righty. Nice. Yeah. I, I joke that they're pulling an Echo Fox on the, on the Guilty Gear community right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, uh, man. But yeah, no, this was really awesome to watch. And Kizzy K, he also won Blaze Blue, which we'll get into a little bit later. But that guy... I'm glad he's sponsored now because obviously he's he's won Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear in like three tournaments recently. It was like this NCR and Northwest Majors. That guy has been on a ridiculous tear, and I yeah. think it was um, was it Zidane who said this that like since he woke up in the you know from his sleep screaming I'm not shook like he's won yeah. everything. <laughs> so like <laughs> that's right. That's right. Oh man. Okay. But yeah, no, nice was... job to Hamad for switching games. Uh, he doesn't really like Street Fighter Five, right. but he likes gear. And uh, man, I, all right, I guess he's already good at that game. So yeah. good stuff. Yeah, and uh, let's see here. Yeah, but again, like also congratulations, to beautiful dude. I'm just, I'm obviously biased because they're from you know Kizzy and beautiful dude from SoCal. But it's interesting because it literally went SoCal Houston, SoCal Houston uh, with the top four. But a beautiful dude, it took him, like, this ridiculous comeback against uh, Hamad. Like, that match went down to the wire. And it almost okay. looked like that there was no chance for beautiful dude to win in the last round. But he had the most ridiculous comeback, and he was able to take it. So 
Good job to them. Good job to all, all right, the players sweet. there. So, okay, uh, Marvel versus Capcom three seventh place was Milky and Ketsui. Fifth place was Noel. Uh, Noel be hungry and Jan. Fourth place was Zebu with a Zero Doom and Dante. Third place Terry Bogard with Morgan Dante Strider. Second place K Brad with Team Devil May Cry. And first place was Christy with Morgan Doom Virgil as usual. So um, yeah, there are a bunch of folks who might not be surprises in there. Chris, K Brad, <laughs> yeah. Jan, Fourth at Evo, uh, still strong, obviously. K Brad is Noel's a been player. good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I I just want to. By the way, I really like Milky as well, and and I heard that he's like a relative up and comer, so I thought oh, that was really cool wow. to see. Okay, okay. And then Ketsui, do you see that team? Ron uh, Morgan Shuma. Oh dang! Oh, you know what? He was the guy that was. Um, yeah, he told me he was like, I don't know how I got in the top eight because he was one of the guys that hey. was trying to get me to play Tetris Splash with him all weekend long. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah. That's funny. But no, I, I watched his team and. It actually works better than you would think. It's hilarious. He has That's some cool awesome. soul steel combos. It's, That's awesome. It was cool. And when so he got uh, sent out by Jan, mm-hmm. and that was a really fun, oh, super yeah. unusual okay. matchup. There were there were some Shuma anchor mirrors that happened <laughs> that you never see. So it was that was that was if if you only watched that, I think that was worth a watch. Nice, nice. Okay, yeah, I will I will try to check that out. Uh, but yeah, Ketsui had Tetris Splash on an Xbox 360 in the back, and he, he and Scrubex wanted to challenge me to some Tetris, so I thought that was funny. Uh, but no, uh, I didn't get to see most of Marvel, so uh, uh, but I'll definitely have to go back and try to check those out. Uh, for King of Fighters 14, fourth place was Marco Polo, uh, third place was Laic, uh, second place Violent Kane, and first place was Paco. With my Luang and Mwemwe, or my Meitzenkun and Luang. So there you go. Um, oh, man. Uh, for Mortal Kombat, seventh place was Cusco and Glorar, Glolar Bears. Is that yeah. supposed to be Glolar Bears? <laughs> okay. It is. Okay. Uh, fifth place was Cory the Dragon and Gnarly Gato Alex. So far, MK is starting to win for the nicknames right now. Um <laughs> Fourth place was Deoxys243. Third place was BXA Star Charger. Second place, Fox Scar. And first place was Black with Hellfire Scorpion. Now, obviously, given the names, you would think that Scar would be the favorite to win that. But uh, Black took it over Scar. Not only that, but he's the one who sent Scar to loser's mm-hmm. side. So he beat Scar twice. Okay, nice. Do you yeah, have- it's not just nice. It's like... Really, pretty, pretty excellent. Uh, <laughs> Black Black doesn't travel that much. Um, I was talking with him a bit. He said that he he actually mostly plays online nowadays. Oh, really? Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, but he was super good. Uh, that was that was awesome. Okay. Uh, I mean, is he is he yeah. from Houston area? Ooh, is he from Houston? I don't recall, but I know okay. he, he did say he's from Texas. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. But, I mean, he was a known player before, right? It wasn't just, like, a kind of sneak in there. I mean, I've heard the name once or twice, but but not in a long time. Okay. And there was another, he used to go by another name, and now I don't recall. Oh, okay. I don't know if anybody in the chat okay. remembers. But uh, he was he was uh, previously, like, a good. Just what I have expected him to be a scar, maybe not. Right. Uh, no. w- is, is, is Hellfire Scorpion supposed to be good right now? or? Some people think Hellfire Scorpion's really good. Okay. But a lot of people think that the character is, is like, okay, but, like, not top tier or anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I don't know. There's different opinions. Um, but, you know, he just, he was patient, and he controlled the stage. And the thing is about that character is that uh, it threatens uh, teleports constantly. Mm-hmm. And, and so you're looking for that. But if you're looking for that, then he has an unblockable flame that he brings right. out of the ground. So if you're like caught too, looking too much at the teleports, then he'll hellfire you. Right. And his footsies are super sick because he has his flame on, which catches from a giant hitbox right. if right. you try to poke into it. So uh, yeah, he definitely has stuff. Definitely okay. has stuff. Cool, cool, nice. Um, okay. Uh, anything else you wanted to say about Mortal Kombat? Oh man, it was cool to see me old 
Before God Code of Kong, one last time. <laughs> Before Injustice comes out. Before and Injustice, MK is... and he officially dies forever. <laughs> oh, that makes me sad. Me um, too, me too. Believe me. Uh, Blaze Blue Central Fiction was also played uh, this weekend uh, there. Uh, Milk Kaicho got seventh along with Yushiro. Fifth place was Flux and Nanakio. Uh, fourth place was Master Steph. Third place, Beautiful Dude. So he got two third places. Nice. Two third places. Uh, second place was Shinku with Rachel. And first place, Kizzy K with Jin. So literally, Kizzy, the two SoCal guys, got the same places in both tournaments. Pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, I remember, too, talking to Beautiful Dude. He actually said he was really surprised he got third place in Guilty Gear. But he was really, really happy. So, But, uh, yeah, third place here in Blaze Blue as well. So... Nice. And then there was also a Smash Brothers for Wii U tournament that was won by Grim Turtle with Bayonetta. So, and that is the results for Texas Showdown. It's very cool to hang out with some of the Texas folks there, and we talked a bunch about olden days. I talked with Chris Wong for quite a while. <laughs> uh, old old school player from a million years ago yeah. who uh, uh, owned an important arcade in <laughs> Houston and still comes and hangs, but you know it doesn't play like he used to, of course. Right, right. Uh, but yeah, it was just cool to hang out. You know, it was it was really nice, and we hung out with Raph a little bit. Speaking of, just wanted to give a shout out to my man Raph. Oh yeah, <laughs> for this excellent gift. Oh man, nice, nice. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yes. I I got to do commentary with him on Guilty Gear, and a lot of people thought we did a good job together. I mean. The, the one thing, the one critique I heard, which was absolutely, I noticed it too, is sometimes we would talk over each other, but that's what happens when two people are kind of new uh, with each other. You know, it's, it's always hard to not have that happen when you're commentating with people for the first or second time. But uh, I thought it went really well. And yeah, Raph is really up and coming in terms of commentary for Guilty Gear and for Street Fighter. I remember he got to do Street Fighter last year at Evo, so that was super cool. Yeah, he did the uh, Red Bull thing as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Nice. <laughs> yes. I am not nerd enough to, to know what that reference is. So. Yeah, apparently there's also an alliance. They, if it's like reversible, and oh, there's yeah, the alliance yeah. one in there, but uh... that will never see the light of day. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. All righty. I don't Anything know, else to say? I don't know about... the significance of that, of alliance or whatever the opposite of alliance is, but it's okay. Whatever the opposite of alliance is. Yeah, that's my exactly. team. Okay. It's teams, right? That's what we're talking about? Teams. I think so. I guess. Clans? Uh, alliances? I don't know. But Yeah. Video games. Okay. In any case, um... <laughs> Uh, do you want to go on to some other events, or do you want to take a break and then come back and talk about more stuff? Um, yeah, we might as well finish the events, I guess, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, there is a possibility that I might try to squeeze, uh, uh, oh, wait, no, never mind. Tasty said that he would try to get on, but he says he got bodied. Hang on a second. Oh. Uh, let me text him really quick. And see what he says. Uh, okay, well, let's just keep going on to some of the other events then while I wait for Tasty Steve to respond because I, I would like to get his uh, input on the Tekken banning stuff if he could. Yeah. Uh, if he, if he could sure. jump on the Skype. So, um, but let's keep going here first. Uh, you want to talk about the Coliseum or do you want to talk about Fighter Spirit first? Whichever one you prefer. All right, let's do the Coliseum here. Uh, please load up web page. There we go. So the Coliseum was the ranking event that took place in Europe this weekend. Uh, a lot of players. This one had a lot more international players. It's always funny because it always feels like the Asia players are like it's easier to travel to Europe ranking events than it is to travel to the U.S. ranking events. So uh, they definitely came out here. There was a bunch of them out here. Uh, but uh, let's go over the top eight here. Seventh place was Will Tupac with Laura and Shakes with uh, Cami and Laura. Uh, see, Laura is so popular in, in, in the EU, and it's just not yeah. as popular in the U.S. for some reason. Uh, fifth place was Pax with Karen and Infused Affy with uh, Laura. Fourth place was Mr. Crimson with Dalsum. 
Third place from Taiwan, Zowie's Oil King with Rashid. And uh, second place was Nasser Big Bird with Ken. And first place with Nash, with Cut Off Legs Nash, was Red Bull's Bonchan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, Bonchan is a great player. That yeah. is obvious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But still, very impressive stuff. He plays it. He plays it more offensively. I mean, there are matchups where he still zones a bit, but right. in t- mm-hmm. a typical play, he uh, he plays it much more offense heavy. Which it, you know, if you recall, when he played Sagat, it was not always projectile zoning. Yeah, there were definitely yeah. matchups when he went in instead. So you well, can see that influence. Interesting. But, little, interesting little remark here from GTO Akira, our man in the chat. He said Bonchan went seven zero in his group and only lost one game in top thirty two, and that was against Oil King. Yeah, wow, okay. That's ridiculous, dude. Oh, my God. (laughs) So, Big Bird, everybody knows he is an excellent player. Uh, I'm happy that he can travel more often because he's been consistently doing well. Didn't he just get second at another event in Europe? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, he did. Well, he got somewhere. Yeah, he got somewhere up there. But, yeah. I mean, what do you think what this means about Nash? Like, so... Someone even messaged me afterwards, is like, so about this Nash win, you know, a lot of people are saying Street Fighter V, you have to pick a top tier, you have to have secondaries and all this stuff like that. You know, Daigo wasn't able to make Ryu work, Infiltration is like, can't find a character. But then here's, here's Bonchan winning with Nash, a character everyone has just said was like one of the worst in the game after the patch. I mean, wh- what does that mean to you? Like, is, do you think there's anything to take, take away from that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, um, I mean, clearly Nash is not as bad as I, as we first thought he was, mm-hmm. uh, I think that's, that's a big one. At the same time, the game is not that imbalanced, it's, right. you know, Alex and, and maybe Fang, I guess, are on the southern end of things, but them aside, maybe just a couple of other characters aside, I mean, look, Chun-Li just got top eight as well, like, yeah. th- there's really only a few characters who I don't think can be tournament viable uh, i'm not sure anybody else really would win tournaments with nash other than bon Chen, maybe yeah. punk i don't know right but this this is an interesting set of results because uh let, let me look at the top four ish i guess nash ken rashid is excellent and then dalsam nash ken and dalsam like not many people would have those in their top 10 yeah oh for sure yeah for right sure. uh i don't know if anybody does and, and that is that is very impressive that mm-hmm. all those guys are doing that kind of work. And uh, so so I think on the one hand, this, this shows that maybe the game is actually pretty well balanced. Um, not perfectly, but pretty well balanced. Alternatively, it shows that Europe is garbage. <laughs> what do you think about that? I, I, what, do you think about, what do you think about top you, three not being from Europe? And... <laughs> Three out of the top four <laughs> placers not using top tier characters. Oh man, I mean, since Street Fighter V came out, Europe has definitely, I feel like, struggled a little bit. It's really mostly Phenom, right? That's doing really well. Yeah, Phenom, Luffy. Those are those are two of the best players in the world. Absolutely. Oh yeah, and Luffy, uh, of course. Yes, yes, yes. After that, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. I'm not saying they're bad. I mean, maybe if you could, like, make a little lower third, uh, what are those called? Crichtons or something? Uh-huh. Um, whatever that word is. Uh, uh, maybe it would have a question. Is Europe garbage? <laughs> not saying. Not saying that Europe is garbage, but is Europe garbage? Oh, I don't know. Oh, let's not see. sure. Uh... Iron. That's what it is. Yes. What is it? C-H-I-R-O-N. Oh, that's what it is, right. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, I, don't, I don't really think that they're bad. I think it's, I think it's much more likely that... Uh, I mean, like, Oil King does well when he comes to the U.S. Right. So Blanchan, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Brick Bird hasn't been here in a while, but he would definitely do that as well. So those, those guys are, are up there, regardless of, yeah, of where yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the results here, I mean, just outside of there, I mean, it's interesting. The, the results are a little interesting because Problem X and I'm Still the Daddy were tied for ninth place, right? But 
Luffy tied for 13th place. So Luffy didn't yeah. even do that well in this in in this event at all. Oh, well, can't win them all, I guess. Yeah, interesting. Okay, well, I mean, look, Bonchan is ridiculous, right? Bon Bonchan, like you said, probably one of the only guys who could make Nash work like that. But to be honest with you, right now, I still stand by my claim that the only character that's terrible in this game is Ryu. <laughs> I don't think Alex is terrible. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess. But dude, has there no. been a Ryu anywhere? Like nobody uses him. At they least basically like have all dropped. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. But I, I, I would I would say though that I think a lot of the people who were using Ryu in season one used him because he was felt to be good. Right. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So I think there was a lot of bandwagoning with that character and that a lot of the people who thought he was good played him because he was good and now he's not good, so they left. I think that's a big part of it, but yeah. at the same time, yeah, I don't think he's good. I don't think he's good either. Okay. okay. Hopefully, the buffs will help him. We'll see what happens there. Uh, I don't think there was any other events at the Coliseum that took place. Let's see if I can scroll through this web page because every time, I guess they told that people said that the latest XSplit uh, update like made. Like it, like if you run XSplit and then it makes like the the web pages run slow or something like that. But uh... all right, let's move over to fighting Fighter Spirit, which was another event. This one took place in Korea, in Asia over there, and uh, this was also a ranking event. And uh, players such as uh, X Y Z Z Y tied for ninth place. Uh, in seventh place was Cyclops uh, Goichi using Ibuki and Chun-Li, as well mm -hmm. as, I'm just going to say Byung Byung with Birdie, right? B-B-Y-O-N-G, uh, B-B-Y-O-N-G, Byung Byung. Uh, fifth place was Mago with Karin, and Verloren with Kami. Fourth yeah. place was Punko using exclusively Colleen. Uh, third place was NL with Kami. Second place was DNG Tachikawa with Ibuki, and first place, now it's listed as Ken as a Bu and Ibuki, but I heard Momochi played only Ken at this event. But Momochi, Echo Fox's Momochi, took first place at this uh, Korean event. Yeah, I also heard that he only played Ken. And I'm hearing in the chat that Infiltration went 0-2. Is that a Ooh. fact? Yeah, Infiltration has actually said, like, he's but like... But he lost in pools for sure, at least. Yeah, he's, he definitely had a tweet. He was just like, I don't know what's up. Like, I can't figure this out. Uh, I, I heard he used Karin. I heard he used Karin or Karen. You know, well, I heard that was the character. Yeah, he did not he go using. on two, but oh, he did not go still on two. Lost, lost in pools. Yeah, yeah, that's that's tough times. I hope that he's not sticking with Jerry. We mentioned we were talking about bad characters before, and I feel like Jerry's in that list too. Yeah, that's um, true. For a while, he was saying, or some people were saying that they thought she was okay. Uh, I didn't see it at the time, and I still don't see it. Yeah, so. yeah, it's I don't just know, too man. much work. Building all those things for almost like yeah. insignificant gains, you know what I mean? It's like, and the problem yeah. with it is, it's not like a Buki who who can like knock you down and charge four kunai. Like right. Jerry's literally like spend. Okay, gotta charge up. Spend got exactly. like it's almost like she should be able to charge up like jam, like charge up three of them. Sure. You know what I mean, yeah. or something like that. She, like she she spends a lot of time trying not to be bad, and then mm -hmm. when she's not bad, she's like okay, but she's never good. You know what I mean, she like she spends a lot of time building up the charges and the V skill. If she started around with all of those things, maybe she'd be better. But even mm -hmm. still, then she's spending a lot of time after that trying to regain any kind of momentum or safety or yeah. I don't know. It's, it's funny because like I've even seen some people say it's very similar to Hakan's oil. You know, like she should just start with everything like they changed Hakan to start with oil. And I think that's funny because Jiri and Hakan came out at the same time and. Sounds like they combined the characters together into one character now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, her her buffs that she gets from charging are not even close to Hakan yeah, being uh -huh. able to do all the nonsense Agreed. that that guy Agreed. can do. Agreed. So, uh... yeah, being able to start the round with charges and Street Fighter Four fireballs. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, that was there. But yeah, I I did hear that Momochi won it exclusively with Ken and he was yeah. like just doing ridiculous whiff punishes and stuff like that so just typical but actually so I mean 
what do you think Infiltration's issue is right now outside? Okay, let's throw this out there, right? He's getting married, so he has a lot of things on his mind. He's got a lot of things to take yeah. care of and everything like that. But do you think that there's another problem outside of that? Because since Evo, Infiltration's, you know, dominance and strength really has kind of faded. Oh! Well, I, I think he, uh... Yeah, I brought my cats over to James's place today. Uh... <laughs> He, uh, he doesn't like the game. I think that is pretty clear. And he's not... Even on top of that, uh, I don't know that he's like put in the time. It just doesn't seem like somebody is as strong as he is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like the only way that you're losing is if you're not putting in the time and if you hate what you're doing. Right, so, yeah. Uh, I really feel like that's it. Like It's not, it's not like a question of like, you know, Justin won a lot of tournaments, and then he's, like, getting ninth or seventh, right, rather than, like, or fifth, rather than winning tournaments still. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. a different question, right? right. Justin is doing well. Mm -hmm, he's mm -hmm, not going, mm -hmm. he's not losing in pools. So, right. you know, to go from winning Evo to losing in pools is a, is a giant swing. So I, I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I hope he figures it out. Or alternatively, if he doesn't like the game, maybe pick up, you know, gear or Injustice is coming out right. or whatever. Okay. Pick, okay. you know, Tekken. Plenty of other games out there. I've even heard that, um, what was it? That, well, he said Ed looked really interesting to him. So who knows what, what that'll be like. We'll talk about sure. Ed in a little bit. So, Yeah. Uh, how's Ajax doing? Oh, uh, he's hilarious. Aw. I'm glad. See, you can actually. Hello to James. You can actually, like, hold. Oh. <laughs> you can actually hold the cat like that. Like, my cats get mad when I try to hold them like that, depending on how sleepy they are. <laughs> Oh, man. He's dancing. He likes being here so much. Uh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Uh, anyway, there was another uh, tournament you wanted to talk about? Uh, there actually was. Let me pull this up here. Uh, someone actually sent this to me via DMs, and he just really wanted to, uh, you know, talk about this because, um, uh, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, the guy wanted to talk about this tournament that took place in the Czech Republic called uh, Button Check. Ooh, um, oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, it's a great name, dude. That's just a great name. Uh, but uh, he has results and videos. You can actually check it. Uh, what's this link here? It's like medium.com slash... But oh, You can find all the information at buttoncheck.com, which is obviously C-Z-E-C-H buttoncheck.com. Here, let me change the let me pay, change the scroll before everyone's like, why is Europe still dead or garbage? Um, let's see. There you go. Buttoncheck.com. So you can actually check the results there. Uh, but they had a bunch of tournaments over there in Street Fighter V. Uh, fourth place went to DH Kurt JC. Third place was KJIM. Second place was RMZ Ramshaft who uh, also does a lot of beginner Guilty Gear streams as well, so you guys should follow him on Twitter. Uh, but first place was IG Xerox. And then for Guilty Gear Revelator, uh, fourth place was uh, Cat Pion Sin Main That Uses Soul. Like, literally, that's the name. Rad. <laughs> uh, Korn Forlski uh, was in third place. Second place was uh, Bepis Bunker PRK. And first place was PIDA, and what he P I D A, and what he said about the Guilty Gear players here, um, that these two top players are in fact uh, some of the best players in Europe. Period. And, okay. Uh, basically, they said that they do well in Guilty Gear pretty much, um, you know, throughout Europe. So there you go. So uh, shout outs to Tim for that information there, getting us that information there. Uh, there was also a UMVC3 tournament. Uh, Hard Edge Healing Care got third. Uh, second place was J.O.B. Velaferis, who um, is a person that I've talked to a lot on Twitter because he's a Felicia fan. So he actually got second place with a Felicia team. So good job wow. to him. Uh, wow. First place was Garuda. And Velafer it was really interesting, too, because Velaferis actually sent me a clip of the, that tournament. And he said that he, it was interesting because, you know, from talking and hearing us talk about fighting games a lot, a lot of times, 
he said he could actually pinpoint the one moment he lost the tournament and which where he just got careless did a yolo you know vajra with with a strider that was punished and he did it basically for no reason but he wow. was he was actually in winner's bracket of grand finals and uh garuda reset and beat him at the end so Dang. i thought that was actually kind of interesting uh, Blaze okay. Blue, third place was Rad, fourth place was Corn Forolski, and uh, first place was VDV Owner. But yeah, that was um, Button Check, and uh, you should be able to find like all the videos and stuff like that online and uh, at buttoncheck.com that you can see down here. So That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Hey, do you know what the Felicia team is? He was using Felicia, Strider, and I don't remember who the last character was now that I... I'm trying to remember because I think he was only oh, like down. Strider Doom or something. I mean, that would be that would be what that was my best Felicia team, not my right. best Felicia team. Actually, it was probably my own K one. I was terrible at Doom and Strider, but right. Like, but I remember talking about it. Yeah, but I think that is the best Felicia team. So yeah. I think that's the best Felicia team. Um, but yeah, uh, there was like you said, there was also all the Red Bull Proving Grounds events that were this weekend. There was Umabura Japan, and then, oh, that's right, there was also the uh, KSB happened right before uh, all the stuff happened during the weekend, which is the right. KVO and Team Stickbug collaboration event, and that one was, uh, that one was crazy. Hang on a second, let me get the results out there. Let me get the KSB results here. Uh, interesting, it's not on any of the... Uh, the, the, the normal sites here but uh this was the one that had a ton of dude it's all the smash brothers results I, i'm getting all the, <laughs> the smash brothers results first oh man um but i mean it was obviously a lot of players from america traveled there a lot of players went there like i know ryan hunter was there minus was out there Cool. Uh, Biscuits was out oh, there. Cool. A whole bunch of the guys went out there. And uh, I know that uh, Omito won it. Omito with Johnny. He, t he took that whole entire event. So uh, let me see. I see Melee single. God, come on, Smash Sites. All you have are the, are the, are the results. Shoot. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's do KVO cross TSB 2017 results. Does anybody have a link to the results anywhere? Oh, here we go. Okay, it was just listed there. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, so here we go. So Guilty Gear results. Seventh place were Tomo with Leo and DC with Sin. Uh, fifth place was Day with Elfelt and Lox with Jam. Fourth place was Cha 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 with Kum Hae Hyun. Uh, third place was Turio with Ino. Second place, Ogawa, of course, with Zatoichi. And first place, Omito with Johnny. Uh, I do plan to try to like watch these matches and like analyze them. So hopefully I'll be able to do that on stream. But the one thing that someone pointed out that was super cool is this was all played on Rev 2, by the way. So this was actually uh, a Rev 2 tournament. They played on the updated version of it. Top eight, eight different characters. Oh, nice. Johnny, Zato, Eno, Kum, uh, Elfelt, Jam, Leo, and Sin. And under there was a Faust, a Chip, a Chip, a Milia, a Raven, a Kai, an Elfelt, and a Raven. So in the top 16, there's like 12 different characters. So, that's awesome. So that's really, really impressive. So there you go. Yeah, and everyone says the matches were amazing. I didn't actually get to see a lot of them, but I definitely am going to go back and watch those and try to analyze them on stream at some point in time. So. Sure. Um, Smash Brothers 4. Uh, the results there were Renai with Villager and Masashi with Cloud. Uh, fifth Dick. place were Edge with Diddy Kong and Sigma with Toon Link. Fourth place was Earth with Corin, uh, or Corin, I should say. I'm getting all my Street Fighter and all this stuff mixed up. God, there's yeah. a core. Okay, anyway, third place was 2GG Komo, Komo Rikiri with Cloud, Sonic, and Marth. Second place was Abadongo with Mewtwo and Bayonetta. And first place was Echo Fox's MK Leo or MK Leo with Cloud and Marth. So there you go. Uh, the melee results uh, 
Fourth place was Amsa with Yoshi. Sick. Amsa. That's good. I'm, I'm sad he didn't win. Uh, <laughs> Sane with, with Fox. Uh, Konotori with Falco and Fox. And first place was Yu with Falco. So there you go. Very cool. Uh, King of Fighters 14 was also played there. Uh, fourth place was Huamao uh, E.T. Uh, Akira was in third place. Second place was Tarezo. And first place, Koji K.O.G. with Nakaruru, really? Mature, and Verse. Yeah. It says Koji, Ka- Koji Kong. That's what it says. Koji K.O.G. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I believe you. I'm just surprised at the first couple characters there. I right. I think it'd be, like, entirely big bodies, but okay. I'm trying to cool. think you're... There's somebody you remind me of right now, the way you're doing that. So, um, Blaze Blue, fourth place was Fenrich with Jin, Maki with Rachel, Toei with uh, Izanami, and first place was Kaibutsukun with Nine. They okay. also had a UMBC3 tournament there. RF got fourth place, Takumi Ooh. got third place, TMP Cross second place, and fourth, first place was Mabushin, which is interesting because, you know, the other three have obviously traveled to the U.S. to play. Right. Uh, but uh, Mabushin, I don't know if he's come to the U.S. before. That name is not as familiar to me. Yeah, Daredevil. Daredevil. I, think, I think that's what it is. Daredevil. That's what it makes me think of. There you go. Daredevil? Oh. Hey, you know what makes sense? It's a lawyer, right? Come on. Matt Murdock. Well, uh, say that he looks like me anyway. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and then there was a Pokken tournament. Apollo, third place. Thulius, second place, and Tanoshima, Tanoshimi, first place with Mewtwo and Lucario. Isn't Thulius from the U.S.? Uh, he might be. I think he is, yeah. I mean, a lot, like I said, a lot of people traveled to this event. Obviously, That's really it, was, cool. it was streamed on uh, Team Spooky, uh, Ryan Hunter, Spooky himself, Biscuits, a whole bunch of guys did an English commentary on that. So, uh, again... Great job to Alan, a.k.a. Stickbug, who, you know, yeah, sure. from New York, who's d- did a bunch of work. He's one of the leading guys for the community in Guilty Gear. He's um, He teamed up with KVO to put on this tournament, and this is like the third or fourth year they've been doing this now. So, yeah, and it's just, it, I, you know, obviously I'm biased because I'm a Guilty Gear guy, but, like, I just feel yeah, like Guilty Gear great. is... It's just like gaining so much steam right now. I just feel like a lot more people are playing it, and it's like getting a lot of really good publicity right now. So, shout that outs. Yeah, shout outs to KVO Stickbug. Also, this weekend, however, one more result that I want to go through. Okay. Uh, sorry about that, but that was the ST tournament that took place this weekend. And had I not actually gone to, uh, let me see if I can get that out here. I'm trying to find the the name of that tournament. Let me get that URL back up again. Um, slash uh, fight in. So I'm using so Malice is Godlike, who used to do the original calendar, is back doing a calendar again. Nice, most yeah. mostly kind of because of my pressure, which I feel bad because uh, it's a lot of work. Uh, but this last weekend was. Um, oops. This last weekend was also the, uh, oh, what? He just deleted, like, last week's information. Crap. Uh, <laughs> was, ah, uh, shoot. Please give me the name of that tournament. It was just, like, Kake Kugoro or something like that, and I can't remember uh, what the whole name of it is. Like, it was there, and I think he, oh, you know what? I have the old one that, Oh, cool. Okay, I have a cast version that he hadn't deleted the week yet. It's the, um, it's the, oh, no, I don't have it here. Crap, never mind. Oh, this is going great. Sorry about that. Uh, but there was an ST tournament, and a lot of people went there. A lot of the U.S. players went there. Uh, Silent Scope was out there. Um, obviously, Tanya and Eugene were out there, a.k.a. Uh, El Trouble and Killer Miller. I believe Damn Die was out there as well. There was a bunch of people out there. So, um, yeah, it was really cool. Uh, I didn't get to see who won, though. I didn't get to see who won. Uh, if I was actually here instead of at Texas Showdown, I probably would have done another one of those crazy, you know, middle of the night restreams of it, but I didn't get a chance to do that. So, okay. Um, but there you go. That was. Well, I got it. 
I gotta take a vicious whiz. So you want to take a break, and then uh, we'll come back and talk about Ed and other characters. Yeah, no problem. Oh, we didn't get a chance to talk about E League's results last week's either, but let's do that after the break. All right, back in a bit. Okay, cool. <laughs> 